All right, it looks like we're ready to get into it now. There are two there are two files you can run by. There's the Megazooks exec and the Megazooks run exec. Megazooks run exec is just to play games. You can't go into the editor mode with this one. So we're going to go ahead and use this one because I want to show you how to get into the editor mode. Okay, it starts out windowed. Um, I will show you later how to go into the config file and change the settings so you can get a more optimized screen. Uh, but for right now, if you want to go into full screen mode, you can hit Control Alt Enter. All right. Now we're in the game. Here's our two games, Tutorial and Caverns. To go back a directory, you click on these two dots here. That backs you up one directory. Um, I prefer using the keyboard keys, um, and it's very quick and easy to do that. Um, I'll go into Y later. So we're going to go into we should go into tutorial, I guess, first. And there's no music for this game, so there's not going to be a lot of sound. It's just the bleeps and bloops of the sound effects. Now, once you start the game, actually, I should back up and show you that. So you start on the title screen, and you can't play from here. You have to press the P key to play. So press P, and you begin the game. And as you can see, there is a blinking, flashing scroll here that you can read by touching it. Uh, there's also a sign right here you can read. And there's a cave entrance here you can go through that jumps you to somewhere else. So I don't need to do this. You can go through it alone. Um, it will pretty much show you what to do, so just I don't really need to go through this with you. Now, if you want to go in and actually edit a game, you can do that. Uh, you begin the same way as playing a game. You go to the game itself. It shows you the title screen, and instead of pressing P to play, you press E for editor, and that takes you to the um, game editor. And as you can see, there is a load of um, things to do at the bottom of the screen here. There's a, a table that shows you uh, a great deal of things you can do in the beginning. And if you press the page up and page down key, you will go through this list of different things you can try. You can press these keys to see what happens. Um, I would suggest maybe first saving an alternate version of this world in case you modify something and accidentally save. You don't want to mess up this game. So I'm going to press S to save. And um, like I said, I use the keyboard for a lot instead of the mouse. Megazooks is a, um, a very old game. It was designed, gosh, um, more than 15 years ago. I'm not very good with math, but it was created in 1994, so that's quite a long time ago. Um, and it's set up much like a DOS game, which um, were much more common at the time. And DOS games didn't, I mean, DOS, a lot of DOS programs didn't really use the mouse a whole lot. They took advantage of the keyboard. So um, it's very easy to use the keyboard, and you're going to be doing that a lot in the game. So if you press um, left, you'll go to Tutorial MZX. If you press right twice, you'll jump down to the bottom and you can actually change the name. Let's go ahead and call it Tutorial Test, I guess. Hit OK to save. And if you hit S again, we have Megazooks has already made a backup for me because um, by default the config file has backups turned on. I think at the interval is about one every three minutes or one every one minute. And I think it makes a maximum of three backups. It calls them backup one, two, and three and just keeps um, saving to those files every minute or so. So here I have tutorial test. 
tutorial and backup and right now they're all the same because I haven't modified anything yet. I hit escape. Now I can move around the board. Now you can press the arrow keys to move the cursor around like this and the, the uh, board will pan around with you. It's kind of hard to tell what happens when you get down here because it's all black. If you want to move quicker, you hold down Alt and every time you hit the uh, arrow key it will move 10 steps. So you, it's a much quicker way to get around the board. If you would like to change boards, press key B. And I think, where does it show that? Now somewhere in here is how to change boards. There's also a help file you might want to take a look at. You could press F1 at any time. This brings up a help file. And you're probably going to want to read some of these frequently asked questions. Uh, help on help, overview, how to use Megazooks the first time, that sort of thing. Uh, there's a good deal of support um, and help within Megazooks. You can press um, F1 at any time to bring up a help menu um, for a lot of different uh, a lot of different things within Megazooks. So you can go ahead and just fiddle around with this. Um, you can try adding and removing things. If you press insert, you will grab whatever is under the cursor, and it displays it down here. That's the current item is this cyan block here, and it says it is a text block, and that is the parameter of it. Uh, that's basically the character. Um, if you press the space bar, you'll place it like that. And if you press the tab bar, you'll begin drawing it like so. And hit tab again to turn drawing off. And then if you press the F key, you'll fill an area in. If you decide you're done with that, you can hit uh, go to the black space and hit uh, insert to grab just blank space and then go back here and hit F to fill that block with blank space. You can see what any item is by hitting enter on it. And it's the same thing as hitting insert, I guess. You can hit insert or enter. Um, and so this down arrow is actually a piece of custom floor, which floor is just something that can be walked over. So just think of it as you know, floor or carpet, just it's just decoration. It doesn't actually uh, interact with the player in any way. It's just so he can walk over it. And this is the character set here. When you hit enter on uh, on an object, you can bring up a character set that lets you select a different character. See, I just changed that down arrow to what a little diamond or something. I'm not really sure. Uh, this is a scroll. When you hit enter on it, it lets you edit the scroll. You can type different things here. The uh, thing that looks like a stairs is actually a passageway that leads to a different board. And when you hit enter, it uh, shows you what board it currently leads to. And you can change that board like by going to any other board and hitting enter. So you can press B to change to a different board, or you can actually, I think, press plus and minus to go up and down the board list.